All right, girls, it's on its way. I just checked FedEx. Now remember, when that new Chris Statlander figure gets here, keep these foil hats on at all times. Can you explain why exactly we are wearing these dumb tin foil hats? Why, yes, I can, come here, Alexa. These foil hats are going to protect our brains from being controlled and prevent this alien figure from reading our minds. Oh, well, Robotamina, she doesn't really have to worry too much because she doesn't have a brain. Or, or do you? I haven't really, uh, quite figured that out yet. But either way, Diva Marie, that long antenna in combination with her robo powers, I'm really hoping that she can hook your boy up with a really strong signal to HBO or at least Showtime. Don't you think you're being a little paranoid? No, I don't think I'm being too paranoid, Kome or Alexa. And you know why? Because ever since I pre-ordered that Unrivaled Series 8 Chris Statlander, things have been real weird here in LJV. As a matter of fact, the last month, every time I come in here and look at my collection before I film, I've noticed that some of my figures have moved spots and moved places. And I really think it's Chris Statlander trying to send some kind of sign or some kind of message to LJV before her arrival. I mean, listen, one time I came in here and my Nia Jax Elite was holding the SmackDown Women's Championship. Does that sound like something I would do? Hmm? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. You do realize you sleepwalk? Uh, no, I definitely don't sleepwalk. <laughs> Bro. Robo Tamina, text Mayor Aaron over the video from your security camera. Beep, beep, boom. Text message set. Oh. All right. Let me check this out. Oh, excuse me, pretty lady. I have organized figures. Mwah. I always... Oh, I have my organized... Let's see what we have. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right there. <laughs> okay, well, y'all were right. That's... That's a little embarrassing, to be honest with y'all. Well, you know what? Looks like we have nothing to worry about. So carry on within your daily activities, okay? Whenever the figure gets here, I'll just go ahead and review it. Aliens. <laughs> like they're real. Joeville. Women's Wrestling lives here. Make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my future women's wrestling figure reviews and hit the bell to get notified whenever I post them. Now I am super excited to review today's figure of AEW Unrivaled Series 8 Chris Statlander but I want to first and foremost say that I am super impressed and take my hat off to AEW Jazzwares because being a women's wrestling figure collector, supporter, YouTuber, whatever you want to call me, when the line first started, there was a lack of female representation. But the fans had a lot to say about that, and they made changes. And since then, we've not only gotten some excellent women's wrestling figures, but we've gotten a wide variety of superstars with more to come. So I just wanted to say that I'm super pleased with the, the direction that the AEW Jazzwares figures are going, and I'm really excited to review this figure. So that being said, let's take a closer look at the packaging. Alright, so let's take a closer look at the packaging. Now, in my opinion, the AEW Jazzwares line, whether it be unrivaled or unmatched, has provided us with the sharpest looking packages as far as wrestling figures go. I absolutely love the box shape, design, 
And on the Unrivaled, I love the gold and black color scheme. And on the Unmatched, I love the silver, black, and blue color scheme. I just think they look great now. Needless to say, I have never been an MOC collector. You know, I open up all my figs to review them. But I started buying extras of figures. And it's mostly because of this Unrivaled and these Unmatched lines with how good they look. So I have one of every female hanging up on my wall. And I will never take that display down or sell those figures because this packaging is just grade A. I love it. Now it is reminiscent of the old WWE classic superstars look. We have that metallic gold shine on the top with that unique shape. We have really unique shape where it protrudes out. You can see a little bit in the bubble in the top. We have the superstars name in this instance, Chris Statlander and a metallic gold on the side. We have a nice big image of her. And then we have these series on the side. Now, it is important to note, everyone knows this by now, I'm sure, that the sides of the boxes spell something. I don't know what this series spells, but we have an eye here with Chris. Now, turning it around here, we get a nice big image of Chris with a little uh, copy of her autograph there, which that is awesome. I'm going to have to try to seek out some autographed merchandise from Chris sometime because I really like that. And what's really cool about this figure is it does list the night that this attires from, which is the April 14th, 2021 AEW Dynamite episode. Now, even though they were really wrong as far as Ty Conti's attire goes on the back of the box, they're correct here, and I'll get into that next. But with that being said, let's open this up. All right, so I am going to film the unboxing of this because these boxes are kind of tricky to open, at least if you don't want to tear completely through it. But the first thing I am going to say before we do open it up is, you know, I suggest any AEW figure that you want to get, whether it be a female, a male, I do suggest getting two, one to open and one to keep MOC just because of the packaging. And this figure looks freaking amazing in the packaging. Now, it does kind of stink and it's kind of disappointing we don't get accessories with her. But it does enhance the look of this figure MOC in my opinion because we don't have uh, floating hands or floating heads or anything. So this looks really good. So let's open it up. So on the side here we have a piece of tape. And if I bleed on camera, I'm sure that's going to change my YouTube rating here pretty quick. Um, so there's a piece of tape up top, piece in the middle, and then a piece down low. Like a savage baby. And then at the bottom here... There's a piece. Now, like I said, I, I do have another one coming in a protector. And, uh, yeah, that's why I'm opening this up also to review it. So we take that, and then this bubble's attached to the cardboard. So you just peel it. And if you were expecting me to show you, like, a clean way to take it off, I really do apologize. Um, I'm just kind of showing that there really isn't a great way to do it here. Now here she is in the bubble, uh, looks like there's nothing uh, keeping her restricted, so let's dive in. AEW Unrivaled Series 8, Chris Statlander. This attire is from the April 14th, 2021 edition of AEW Dynamite. On this night, Chris Statlander made her return to in-ring action after missing nearly 10 months due to a torn ACL. She would go on to defeat Amber Nova on this night. All right, some overall first impressions of this figure are pretty freaking stellar, or I guess you could say interstellar. I'll, I'll see myself out. No, I actually really think this figure looks like a lot of fun. Now, we are going to break down this figure detail by detail and take a closer look. I just wanted to give my first thoughts because I am so pleased with the direction that AEW and Jazzwares is going in these women's wrestling figures. I mean, they've done a tremendous job, a tremendous improvement from the start of their lines to this. I mean, it, the recent women's figures that they've released have been stunning. So I'm really excited to see what the future holds. But yeah, I'm excited to take a, look, a closer look at this figure too. So I am going to say that I really love how unique this figure looks because being a women's wrestling figure fan, anytime I get kind of a unique outlier, whether it be character or attire, I go crazy because it looks awesome. You know, I really like that Elite 90 Reckoning. Elite 92 uh, Scarlet I just reviewed is tremendous. And this is so unique. Never had a women's wrestling figure like this. So I'm excited. Now, I am going to say the one negative thing about this figure is it really doesn't come with any accessories. And that's a letdown. Like I said, the positive to that is the figure looks excellent displayed MOC. The negative is this is all we get. I mean... 
Even the Ty Conti had an extra head, but she only came with two closed fists. It would have been nice. How nice would it have been for Chris Statlander to at least come with a little boop finger so she could do a little boop, you know what I'm saying? But we didn't get that, and that's kind of a weird uh, choice that they made. So, yeah, that's a little strange, but I'm guessing it's because they put so much detail and paint into her tooling and paint application. So, with that being said, let's take a closer look at this figure, starting with that face and hair sculpt. Alright, so let's start off by taking a closer look at this face, hair, and all the awesome attention to detail that they put into this area of the figure. Now, starting off with the face scan, this is a tremendous face scan. They did a really good job here of capturing Chris's look, which sometimes isn't the easiest when you have that application of face paint too. But this truly does look like Chris underneath that paint. And that is my opinion, but I think it looks really good. I think it actually, I know I say this a lot, but it looks a lot better than the images I saw online. And even though I don't think it's as perfect or as spot on as the Unmatched Series 2 Ty Conti, it is a really nice scan. And they even do a good job with the face sculpt itself. So obviously what really stands out on this figure are the little details such as this little silver lip ring that is painted a metallic silver on her lip. And then what really stands out is this awesome green alien face paint over her left eye. This is applied tremendously and very clean. And I say that because I was worried when I got this figure that it might leak into the eye print or not look as good, but... This looks great. I mean, this is excellent face paint application, and yeah, they knocked it out of the park. It even has little black dots above her eyebrow there. And another nice feature is we have that pink and blue coloration coming out of that hair sculpt, and it's supposed to resemble coming out of that alien side, like that's kind of her alien side coming through. So that's really cool. The hair sculpt itself is kind of generic, but it does work in this situation. And like I said, all the other details that they added are just spectacular all right so now let's take a look at her attire body sculpt and all the attention to detail that they put into this figure from the neck down now i am going to say this is making more sense as to why she didn't come with accessories because y'all this figure got a lot of love a lot of care and a lot of detail put into it and yeah this is a lot of fun to review now the first thing i am going to cover if I'm going to start with the negative, is this right shoulder tattoo. So over her right deltoid and upper arm, I believe it's a tattoo. Anytime I watch her wrestle, look up images, it looks like a tattoo. But here, it does not look like a tattoo. The colors are way too dark, way too vibrant. It doesn't look like a tattoo at all. It actually looks like a shirt sleeve or something. So yeah, I think Jazzwares has struggled a little bit with making tattoos look good. And this is no exception. It really doesn't look good. It doesn't look like a tattoo to me, to be honest with you. I like the galaxy pattern and design, but yeah, it's kind of bizarre. I mean, it needed to be a little more faded, but either way, let's get that out of the way. Moving on, her left form does have a couple tattoos that do look pretty good. New York State of Mind of the Empire State Building. Moving around back, we have the musical notes. And then let's see, on her left scapula there we have a tattoo on her thigh we have a tattoo so the tattoo detail seems to all be there it's just that one on the right shoulder looks a little bizarre and like i said i'm not 100 percent certain that certain that is a tattoo uh but I'm, I'm pretty sure it is and that doesn't look like it in figure form so yeah now looking at the body sculpt itself it, this looks like a shrunken down version of chris chris is very strong very agile very athletic very beautiful and they do a great job here replicating her body, her physique, perfectly. I mean, this looks like a miniature version of Chris. This is amazing, in my opinion. They did a great job here. Now, looking at the attire itself, what's really nice is that top is a completely uniquely molded piece here, even with the straps and this unique design in the back being molded on. But what really pops is the color that they used here. So the base color, help me out, y'all, because I am colorblind, a neon greenish yellow, I'd call it, really pops. But what really makes this figure stand out is the silver accents that go around the K, the S, and the piping that goes along the borders of that top. I mean, that space silver really looks alien-like and really does make this upper body here pop here. I, I love that metallic silver. I also like the pink, blue, and black design there underneath. So the top, as far as molding, sculpting, and color goes, excellent moving on down to the bottom her bottoms are just a plain black with a silver waistband but what really stands out is this unique green piece that goes around that right leg now it is a sculpted piece which is cool and resembles what she has in real life really well i don't know if the paint application on there is the cleanest to be honest with you 
but it works. It honestly looks good, and unless you're looking at it up close, you won't notice little flubs like that. So, yeah, that's my only complaint with this molded piece down her right leg is the paint seems to be applied kind of sloppily. But either way, it's a really cool addition. Now, one thing I am going to say that I love, you know, being an athletic trainer in real life, this knee brace fits her how it should, okay? Like, the joint of the brace, the brace should be up a little more, which I'm sure I could adjust, but, y'all, this knee brace fits her perfectly. I know that sounds crazy, but I, as soon as I opened it up, I looked at it, and this knee brace fits her nice and snug and looks like an actual knee brace. You know, no shade to Mattel, but I feel like those knee braces are way, way, way too bulky sometimes. But here, I mean, this thing is awesome, and when we go into articulation, we'll see if it inhibits her movement. But this this brace is is tremendous. It, it's wow. I mean, you know, I give this knee brace an overall score of a ten out of ten. Okay, I'm gonna say that. But anyway, moving on down to her boots, we have this cool like snake type pattern with little silver intricate diamonds with black and yeah, that, that just looks awesome, y'all. I mean, this figure's attire has a lot of love, care, and attention to detail put into it, and it freaking rules. Now let's take a closer look at her articulation. All right, so before we dive into articulation, I want to talk about something here. Uh, she doesn't come with any swappable heads, I am going to say that. But Ty Conti does, and it makes it really difficult to swap those heads because they have this little joint in their neck that's like kind of a hinge, and it allows them to look down really far, but it makes it real hard to swap heads. So keep that in mind if you have that tie. I didn't cover that in that review. But here we have nice motion to the right. We have nice motion to the left. She can look back a little bit. It's kind of inhibited by that hair sculpt. And like I mentioned with that joint in the neck, she can look down really, really well. Her shoulder is on that ball joint. It allows all different movements. It does have that little ratchet type feel, which is awesome. Ratchet joint type feel, I guess I should say. And it kind of clicks into place, I feel like. And that's an excellent feature. She has an upper arm swivel. She has double jointed elbows to allow maximum flexion here. Her wrist can swivel. It can also extend, flex. She has an upper torso swivel where she can side bend slightly, but she can really flex forward and extend back real well. She has that waist swivel. Her thigh is on a ball joint. has really good range of motion all over the place. We have that upper thigh swivel. We have that boot swivel, and the foot can plantar flex, dorsiflex, and rock a little bit side to side. Now let's cover the knee articulation with this brace because I'm curious. So the knee is a double jointed knee, and oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that range of motion we get. That br that brace looks awesome. I know I'm covering the brace probably too much, but it doesn't inhibit her motion at all. And even when it's bent, it looks real. It looks perfect. So, bravo. Bravo. Great articulation here, everybody. All right, so usually this part of the review, I do a comparison between all the Superstars figures, but this is Chris Statlander's first figure, so that's awesome in itself, but I wanted to put it side-by-side -side with Ty Conti because, y'all, these are the last two AEW women's figures I got, and look at the quality here. AEW and Jazzwares is killing it, and they are making some excellent women's wrestling figures. I can't stress that enough. I just wanted to show y'all with these side-by-side -side how awesome these figures look, so... I just had to do that, had to send some love to AEW and Jazzwares, and now let's dive into the one last look. And here's one last look at AEW Unrivaled Series 8, Chris Statlander. Alright, so overall, I give AEW Unrivaled Series 8 Chris Statlander an overall score of a 9.4 out of 10. This figure is excellent. Everything from the hair, the face, the attire... Just overall, the amount of attention to detail and love that went into this figure, they took their time designing this figure, and they did an excellent, excellent job. Now, the reason it isn't a perfect 10 is mostly due to the fact that there are no accessories. Now, I get it. They put a lot of money into this figure's tooling, and they knocked it out of the park. But you can't tell me that adding an extra hand with the boop finger would have costed a whole lot more. I think that was a necessity. If they're not going to have accessories, that's fine. But give her a boop finger so you can pose her, you know, doing doing a little boop. So that's kind of weird, you know. I also think that the hair sculpt could be a little bit more unique. And even the face scan could be a slight bit better. And also the paint application on this leg needs to be a little cleaner. So that's why it's not a perfect 10. But is this an excellent figure? Uh, yeah. Is it one that I highly advise you go out and get? No, I highly advise you get two, one to open and one to keep MOC because this figure looks stunning MOC and stunning in hand. Thanks for stopping by Lumberjillville. Women's wrestling lives here. Make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss 
any future women's wrestling figure reviews and hit the bell for notifications. Now, the Jillies was going to be scheduled for this week in the 22nd, but I literally got five brand new women's wrestling figures this past week, and I want to get y'all those reviews before the Jillies is released. So look for the Jillies sometime next week or weekend. It won't be on the same night as the Rumble, but I'll make sure to post details on the Lumberjovo Instagram when I have an official date for that. But I'm super excited for that award show, but first I'm going to review these figures for y'all. So coming up next will be Elite Series 92 Charlotte, and that'll be dropping here in a couple days. So that being said, thank you for watching, and have a great night, y'all. Thank you.